you are welcome to another biology class today. Uh, the topic we will be looking at for this period is uh, hemolysis. Hemolysis. Hemolysis uh, refers to the busting of red blood cells when they are placed in hypotonic uh, solution. Refers to the busting of red blood cells when they are placed in hypotonic solution. In other words, this is the busting of red blood cells in the plasma when placed in a hypotonic another word for hypotonic is a weak weak solution now the red blood cells are found surrounded by the plasma and uh, assuming that this is our own red blood cell being surrounded by the plasma now what we are saying is that the amount of uh, sodium chloride, the concentration of sodium chloride in both the red blood cell and the plasma is about 0.9%. So this one has like 0.9% sodium chloride and this one also has 0.9% sodium chloride. Why? Because cells of, you know, plants and animals tends to do well when they are in isotonic, you know, isotonic uh, situations, isotonic condition. So, the concentration of sodium chloride in the plasma and that of the red blood cell are almost exactly the same. That speaks of equilibrium between the concentration of the solute in the plasma and that of the red blood cell. Now, if anything happens that uh, you know changes the concentration of sodium chloride, you know, in the plasma, especially when the concentration reduces to like maybe 0.5, anything that reduces the concentration of sodium chloride to 0.5 will you know cause endosmosis to take place into the red blood cells and that will you know create a prayer inside the red blood cell the volume of red blood cells will increase because of endosmosis influx of a uh, water molecules and if this one happens then there will be you know Busting of the red blood cells. For example, if we if we look at red blood cell, if this is red blood cell, now under normal situation, the red blood cell maintains its shape. If it is found in ice isotonic uh, you know, situation. But when red blood cells are placed in a hypotonic solution or weak solution, 
what will happen is that the red blood cells will take in water molecules and uh, if water molecules go in by endosmosis it will swell up so red blood cells swell up so the red blood cell will swell up and eventually burst to release its content so this one represents our bursting so this process of bursting or splitting open to release you know the its contents into the plasma is called hemolysis it's called hemolysis it's referred to as hemolysis now if the red blood cells is placed in hyper tonic uh, solution or we call it strong you know, solution then water will move out of the red blood you know, cells and the red blood cells will definitely shrink so red blood cells shrink it will shrink. The cell will still be there, having its, you know, nucleus, but it will shrink in this, you know, case. And if this one shrinks, this process of shrinkage is called uh, crenation. So crenation is the shrink okay, of animal cells when placed in hypertonic or strong solution. Now, when red blood cells are surrounded by plasma with uh, the same concentration of sodium chloride with the inside of the cell, it is said to be in acetonic situation or equilibrium. So the cell will function very well. But when the blood cells are placed in weak solutions, then they take in water by endosmosis, swell up, and burst to release the content that. Uh, there. Now, the illustration of this can be shown if red blood cells are placed in distilled water, which is an example of weak, you know, solution. Hemolysis will take place as it is. But if, you know, red blood cells are placed in hypertonic solution, very, you know, strong solution then exosmosis will take place water molecules will move out by exosmosis and uh, the cell will do what will uh, shrink it's going to shrink the cell will shrink and that you know shrinkage is called crenation it's called crenation and that is why those who use um, um one of the situations that can cause uh, crenation is when uh, somebody takes uh, is some salt. When if some salt is taken, for example, we have people that take if some salt. When they take if some salt, if some salt, if some salt is a uh, magnesium. Tetra oxone sulfate six. It's magnesium tetra sulfate six. It's a salt. If it is taken, then it is not absorbed into the blood, and uh, that will create a kind of concentration, hypertonic situation around the blood cells, and uh, it may lead to exosmosis, whereby Red blood cells experience a crenation. Before we close our discussion on uh, uh, hemolysis, we will look at conditions that cause hemolysis. Conditions that cause hemolysis. Conditions 
that uh, cause immunity. There are just four of them. Use the, the conditions to round up the the class conditions that cause hemolysis. Conditions that cause hemolysis. Conditions that uh, cause hemolysis in the animal cells. One, when there is disease attack. When an animal is attacked by diseases, it topples the normal functioning of the cell and uh, there could be hemolysis of the cell. When there is food or drug abuse, when any animal abuses drugs, then yeah, it will you know, cause malfunctioning of the cell and it could create a concentration around the cell, causing you know, the cell to experience hemolysis. Apart from that, if there is poisoning, poisoning, maybe food poisoning or poisoning from any material, then if there is infection, if a particular cell or organ is infected, infection, or in the case of a you know pandemic, any pandemic at all that will affect the body, it will lead to uh, hemolysis of red blood cell. Then the effect of uh, pollution too is also one of the causes of uh, hemolysis of uh, animal cells. It's one of the causes of hemolysis of uh, animal uh, cells. So these are the rudiments of hemolysis in plants. So if hemolysis takes place in animal cells, it actually leads to the death of the, uh, of the plant cell. So next time that we are meeting, we will be moving ahead from, from here. Good day to you.